Food tonight for many of us is hard to go one day without our mobile phone, our Wi-Fi or TV. But one Memphis family is going cold turkey for the entire summer. Yvonne Thomas spoke with the Parrish family about their technology free summer break that they have planned and why they believe it will help prepare their kids for class next fall. Oh, this so is how the Parrish family is spending their Stop. summer. Stop. Lots of time together with friends and mostly screen free. We're taking out Xbox, Switch, uh, cell phone, scrolling on social media. Um, we are taking out Netflix and more Netflix. We are going to kind of go old school summer like we had when we were growing up. Mother of five, Lori Parrish says they've tried this before, just not as long. We um, we were inspired a couple years ago. We kind of took some technology away and we really saw them bloom. It's helping them find creative ways to learn, have fun and prepare for the next school year. I think that they will be more relaxed. I think they will be less stressed from having to always um, kind of be on. Developmental psychologist Dr. Stuart Burgess says there are several benefits to limiting summer screen time ahead of the fall semester. You really want them practiced and ready to process the material on their own instead of having it be so digital, so fast, so colorful, so rewarding in a in a cognitive processing or brain processing kind of context. More hands on learning could even help reduce summer slide, which happens when kids don't practice the skills they learned in school the previous year and forget them. If you look across studies uh, that have been done for the last two decades, uh, by the time children reach fifth grade, it's estimated on average that they've lost about 18 months of acquired learning from school. The parish kids ages 15 to two may not have their phones, but they still have plenty of activities. Well, there's different ways of uh, kind of getting away from the technology and back to childhood. Lori is sharing what she's learned online with other moms. 14 ways to unplug at home, from arts and crafts to swimming, reading, and cooking. In most activities, they're practicing reading, writing, and math without even noticing it. I think that it's just a good reminder of saying, hey, there's nothing wrong with technology, but let's pull back a little bit. Let's make it less about that and more about us. In Memphis, I'm Yvonne Thomas.